Hey, what's going on? This is uh, Leo bringing you another uh, great article or great information for those of you small business owners that um, are just starting um, or maybe don't have uh, uh, an idea how to promote your business or you don't have an online presence at all. And I've been looking for ways to right, increase your online exposure or increase the exposure of your business period, right? Because I don't know, you're trying to attract new customers, grow your business, etc. So today's video, you're going to be talking about if you think your business can survive without a website, you probably may need to think that again, right? Before we get started, uh, my name is Leo. I have a small digital marketing agency here in Solano County, which is located in California. And uh, we help small business owners here in our area to um increase their online exposure so that more customers are able to find them, right? We do, um, we do uh, new websites for them. We do uh, all, um, uh, online citation, meaning you get your business listed on different multiple websites so that uh, um, your business can come up when people are looking for you. Uh, we do uh, online advertising for them, right? To make sure that more customers are able to find them and continue to come back as well, um, etc. So let's go ahead and dive into uh, this article. So your small business needs a website to establish a reliable online presence, right? Attract new customers and provide a great impression of your products and services. Because imagine, I understand if you just started, but imagine that you are getting some traction, right, on your business, but then um, you come across people or other businesses that you try to get contact with, but then when 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 they ask you, okay, where do I find you? Where's your business online? You may feel, and I I counter this from other clients that I work with, right? You may feel like, oh, I'm not good enough. My business is not a good enough because I don't have the online presence. Yes, none of that matter, but still, a lot of people do judge the book by their color, right? So uh, why lose on that chance to have businesses? go away because you uh, haven't taken the time to invest in some, you know, invest a little bit of money that you just, you just need to establish something and to have an online presence. It doesn't, it doesn't cost too much and you can even do it yourself. You know, there's so many, so many, many tools out there now that allow, that are so easy to do uh, uh, that you can get started at a very low cost that really is not an excuse for not having a website, right? Website can be costly to build and time consuming. Uh, time, right? It depends on what you want. Some other times they're, they're not at all, like I say, right? It, it, it could be hard to maintain if you don't know what you're doing, right? Um, otherwise, others may just put their website and just leave it, forget about it, right? Uh, you do want to make sure to maintain at least information, right? If you change, like constant contact information, keep that updated, make sure that it's all accurate. Now, is it worth the investment? Right, if you're gonna be taking some time to uh, get started, um, well, I will say you bet they are. They are a worth investment, either on time or, or money. Consumers, and here are some reasons why, right? Consumers expect to be able to find you online, right? If you give me information about uh, your business, the first thing I, I wanna do, me personally, is go and check them out online, check them out online, right? To see what, uh, What's the feeling that you're giving to go understand better about your products and services to see what other people are saying about your business? Um, and if they can not find you online, then many people will look for another option, meaning perhaps they may go to your competitors. Who knows? They might not even have a great service or product as what you have. Are you going to let them, right? Are you going to disservice your, customer, your customers um, from getting the benefits from your products and services by having having them go to some other business owners that who knows what type of reputation they have, right? But they know how to market. So there are two basic reasons to have a website that I listed here. Number one is to establish a reliable online presence, right? You want to make sure that uh, you are able to control what other people are seeing online, especially if you are good business owners. Nothing really is going to change um, uh, service, right? Or the quality of your, of your product. If you don't have those two in place, it doesn't matter how what such a great online presence we have. At the end of the day, right? Online presence um, 
is a reflection of how great the production services are. If not, if there's a disalignment in, in there, then obviously, you know, customers little by little will um, disappear or not come back at all, right? So think of it as an online business card, right? To have an online presence, think of it as have a, as an online business card, right? For those who either know you or were referred to you, right? Um, some businesses will make their website very elaborate and others, we only need something closer to an actual business card. You don't need to, uh, you know, there, it all depends on your need, right? You just want, you just want to put something out there for information purposes. Whatever fits your business best, the point is to have something that provides your customers with a great feeling about your services or product, right? To have a, to leave them with a great um, understanding of what is it that they would expect if they were to get services or products from you. And then the reason number two why you should have a website is to attract new customers, right? Having a website is an essential piece of being visible online to potential customers who wouldn't otherwise know about you. Uh, some people may be looking for something in town, right? And if you have your business description properly set and there's no too many other businesses like yours around the area, um, they will not find you any other way if they would because you have an online presence, you explaining what you do, and obviously people that in, are, are in the area um, are more likely to find your business that way, you know, trying to solve a problem that they have. It is tempting to set up a Facebook profile, hoping it will serve your business as well as a dedicated website, but don't make that mistake, right? A website has an authority with uh, the search engine that a simple Facebook page lacks, right? Just having a Facebook page doesn't create that authority that your business is what, uh, what, what, that what it says it is, and, and that you and that your businesses do uh, do what they say it does, right? Uh, Google doesn't have that same uh, doesn't generate that same authority by just having a Facebook business page, but having all the combinations of of a website, Google My Business, Yelp a page, a Facebook page, right? It does reinforce to Google that your uh, website, it, it is an authority because all these other websites are saying what you are. So um, don't leave it just to chance by a Facebook profile. It's very simple to get started, but little by little, you know, add other um, components to to it that can help your business stand out, especially if you are looking to establish a presence in your market, in your local market. Without a website, uh, did we cover this already? Yeah. Uh, without a website, there is no authority on your business to, refund, to be found on Google searches. The hodgepodge of business listing and review sites that appear may provide potential customers with incorrect or incomplete information about your company. Do not leave this to chance, please. Do not let your customers find incorrect or incomplete information about your businesses. It's just a bad, bad, bad experience for customers, right? Um, why now with some technology, will we'll, we'll, we need to go over the bad experience, right? To um, looking for information on, on, uh, about your business, about a business, and just to and get to the location, just to find out that that location was actually closed, right? They closed that specific day or it closed an hour earlier, but because the information was not up to date on the website or any other place online, right, we lost the chance and the, probably we lost that customer for life. And who knows how many other customers because they're gonna go and tell on other friends. Um, so don't leave your business to chance, right? Now, if you wanna find out what customers find when they search your website, I have a free special bonus for you, right? You can get a local search report from uh, my business, Digital Track, to see all of your business online listing and see how they're doing. All you have to do to claim that is you'll come to digitaltrack.co forward slash uh, scan my business. And once you go there, and why is this not working? Once you go there, you're gonna complete your your information here. 
your business information so that and then you're going to click on the button what's going to happen is that going to give send me an email with the necessary information i need to go ahead and put this analysis report together for you then i will go ahead and contact you with uh, email and phone number that you leave me there to let you know when it's ready um so we can set up a time to go over this report and see what um what sort of issues are coming up if any right and then provide some feedback based on that to see what can be done to be corrected all right hope that information helped you and if you are um want to get more um stay up to date with more uh articles like this or videos you can visit my website digitaltrack.co and in there right this is my web main website in there you can see the information about my number email address and if you scroll all the way to the bottom you can see my um uh, different social media uh, links to my social media profiles so they can connect to, with, uh, with me via social media as well all right hope you have a great one and before we leave sorry one more thing before we leave uh, you know if you like what you see subscribe you know please support so you can provide so I can provide more information like this but also at the same time right let me know what other things you uh, may be uh, asking about related to digital marketing right let me know what's what questions you may have perhaps about the video and a question for you will be if if you think that your business doesn't need a website let us know why right well let us know the reason why you think that is um, you know because uh, uh, maybe there's a situation that we haven't come across yet and maybe your business doesn't really need a website right um, so share that with us please and have a good one bye